Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn Class 6, Chapter 5, Fractions and Decimals, Unit Exercise. See the first question now. The sum of two fractions is 5, 3 by 9. If one fraction is 2, 3 by 4, then find the other fraction. Let us see the solution now. Given sum of two fractions equal to 5, 3 by 9. One of the fraction is 2, 3 by 4. Let the other fraction be x. We know sum of two fractions equal to first fraction plus second fraction. So sum of two fractions is 5, 3 by 9. That equals to first fraction 2, 3 by 4 plus second fraction x we have taken. Now we have to find x value implies x equal to 5, 3 by 9. Here plus value equal to after minus. So 5, 3 by 9 minus 2, 3 by 4. Now these are mixed fractions. Let us convert them to improper fractions. Now multiply 9, 5 is a 45. 45 plus 3, 48 by 9 minus 4, 2 is a 8. 8 plus 3, 11. Try it on 11 by 4. Now we have to do LCM for denominators 9 and 4. So 9, 4 is 36. So LCM is 36. Write on numerator 48 into 9 table 36 4 times so multiply with 4 minus 11 into 4 table 36 is 9 times so multiply with 9. Now multiply 48 into 4 that equals to 192 minus 11 nines are 99 by 36. Now let us subtract them 192 minus 99 is 93 by 36. 3 table 93 is 31 times and 36 is 12 times. Now let us simplify this 31 by 12 into simplest form by doing the division. 12 table 31. 12 twos are 24. 31 minus 24 is 7. So the answer is 2 7 by 12. Therefore, the other fraction x equal to 2, 7 by 12. See now second question. A rectangle sheet of paper is of length 12 and a half centimeter and breadth 10, 2 by 3 centimeter. Find its perimeter. Let us see the solution now. Length of a rectangular sheet of paper equals to 12, 1 by 2 centimeter. Breadth of a rectangular sheet of paper equals to 10, 2 by 3 centimeter. So we have to find perimeter. So perimeter of a rectangular sheet of paper equals to 2 into length plus breadth. That equals to 2 into length is 12 1 by 2 plus breadth is 10 2 by 3. Now let us convert these mixed fractions to improper fractions. Write on 2 into 2 12s are 24. 24 plus 1 25 by 2 plus 3 10s are 30. 30 plus 2 32 by 3. Now let us do LCM 2 into LC for 2 and 3 is 6. Now let us do cross multiplication. 25 into 3 plus 32 into 2. 2 table 6 is 3 times. That equals to 25. 3 is 75. Plus 32 2 is 64 by 3. That equals to when we add 75 and 64 we get answer 139 by 3. Now let us simplify this by doing division. 3 table 139 we have to divide. 3 fours are 12. 13 minus 12 1. Write down 9. 3 six are 18. 19 minus 18 is 1. So the answer is 46 1 by 3 centimeter. Therefore, the perimeter of a rectangular sheet of paper is 46 1 by 3 cm. See now third question. Simplify 3 1 by 6 minus 1 1 by 3 plus 4 1 by 6 minus 2 1 by 3. Let us see the solution now. We have entered the question now. First, we have to convert mixed fractions to improper. 6 3s are 18. 18 plus 1, 19. Write down 19 by 6 minus 3 1s are 3. 3 plus 1, 4. Write down 4 by 3. Plus 6 4s are 24 plus 1, 25 by 6. Minus 3 2s are 6. 6 plus 1, 7. Write down 7 by 3. Here denominator is 6. Here also denominator is 6. That is, these two fractions are like fractions. 
Let us add these two fractions 19 plus 25 that is 44 by 6 minus add now these two fractions 4 by 3 and 7 by 3. These two are like fractions. 4 plus 7 is 11. So write down 11 by 3. That equals to let us do LCM for 6 and 3. 3 table 3 twos are 6, 3 ones are 3. So LCM equals to 3 into 2 that equals to 6. LCM for 6 comma 3 is 6. Now write down numerator 44 into minus 11 into 6 table 6 one time. 3 table 6 is 2 times. Now multiply numerator 44 ones are 44 minus 11 twos are 22 by 6. 22 by 6. 2 table 2 elevens are 22. 2 threes are 6. Now still this can be simplified by doing division. 3 table 3 threes are 9 minus 11 minus 9 is 2. So the answer is 3 2 by 3. See now question number 4. By what number should 3 1 by 16 be multiplied to get 9 3 by 16? Let us see the solution now. The number to be multiplied by 3 1 by 16 to get 9 3 by 16 be x. Therefore x into 3 1 by 16 equal to 9 3 by 16. That implies x into convert these mixed fractions to improper. 16 threes are 48 plus 1 that is 49 by 16 that equals to 16 nines are 144 plus 3 that is 147 by 16 that implies x equal to here multiplied equal to after it is divided so write on 147 by 16 divided by 49 by 16 that equals to 147 by 16 Division symbol make it as into and write the reciprocal that is 16 by 49. 16 table 16 one time it is going to divide 49 table 3 times that equals to 3. Therefore the required number is 3. See now question number 5. The length of the staircase is 5 1 by 2 meters. If one step is set at 1 by 4 meters then how many steps will be there in the staircase? Let us see the solution now. Given length of the staircase equals to 5 1 by 2 meters. That equals to 2 5 is a 10, 10 plus 1 11 by 2 meters. Length of one step is 1 by 4 meters. They ask us to find the number of steps were present in the staircase. Therefore, number of steps in the staircase equal to 11 by 2 divided by 1 by 4. That equals to... 11 by 2, division symbol make it as into and write the reciprocal for 1 by 4 that is 4 by 1. 2 table 2 ones are 2, 2 table 2 twos are 4. That equals to multiply numerator 11 into 2. Denominators 1 into 1 means 1. Therefore 11 twos are 22. Therefore there are 22 steps present in the staircase. See now question number 6. Simplify 23.5 minus 27 plus 35.4 minus 17. Let us see the solution now. We have copied the question now. We have separated positive numbers and negative numbers separately. Now let us add these two numbers 23 plus 35 that is 58.5 plus 4 9 plus minus 27 minus 17 that is minus 44. That equals to 58.9 minus 44. Let us do subtraction now. That equals to 8 minus 4, 4. 5 minus 4, 1. Here decimal is there 0.9. So the difference is 14.9. See now question number 7. Sileja bought 3.350 kgs of potatoes. That means 3 kgs 350 grams of potatoes. And 2 kgs 250 grams of tomatoes. And some onions. If the weight of the total items are 10 kgs 250 grams, then find the weight of onions. Let us see the solution now. Weight of potatoes equals to 3.350 kgs. Weight of tomatoes equals to 2.250 kgs. Now we have to find total weight of both items. Now let us add them. 0 plus 0, 0. 
5 plus 5 10 0 carry 1 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 2 6 3 plus 2 5 therefore the total weight of both items that is potatoes and tomatoes is 5 kg 600 grams they have given total 3 items weight as 10 kg 250 grams now we have to find weight of onions that equals to 10.250 kg minus 5.600 kg. Now let us do subtraction 0 minus 0 0 5 minus 0 5. From 2 we can't subtract 6. Let us borrow now 2 becomes 12. This 10 becomes 9. So 12 minus 6 is 6. 9 minus 5 is 4. So the answer is 4.650 kg. That is 4 kg 650 grams. See now question number 8. What should be subtracted from 7.1 to get 0 0.713? Let us see the solution now. Given two decimals are unlike decimals. To make them as like decimals, here we have added two zeros. Now let us do subtraction from 0. We can't subtract 3. Let us take borrow from 1. So 0 becomes 10, this 0 becomes 9 and this 1 becomes 0. 10 minus 3, 7. 9 minus 1, 8. From 0 we can't subtract 7. Let us take borrow. Now 7 becomes 6 and this 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. 6 minus 0 is 6. So the answer is 6.387. Therefore 6.387 is to be subtracted from 7.1 to get 0.713. Today you have seen chapter 5 fractions and decimals unit exercise all sums. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.